Hi, how are we doing, year 12? This is Mr. Bagola here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, so, you know, shortly you guys are going to be starting to research courses. If not, you haven't already. Or you're going to be researching universities, if you haven't already, um, in preparation for, obviously, the next step. And what I wanted to do is just compile, like, a quick uh, advice Part one, uh, advice guide to how to be shortlisting for universities um, and courses. So I've had a reflection on what I think is important. And me and Miss Morrissey have split uh, the list. So I'm going to do sort of part one and then Miss Morrissey will do part two. Um, and we hope really that this helps you shortlist for um, university courses and universities. So number one, it's really important. To look at sorry i'm looking down because i've got my list you know in that little book i always carry around it's, it's in there so number one is the duration of the course um you know typically university courses are three years that can go all the way up to seven years and um, what you want to do firstly is you want to have a look at how long your university course is three years four years seven years this is obviously going to have a detrimental impact upon um, you selecting the university as um, you know it's going to test your commitment and um, you don't want to get two years down the line after selecting a course and then realize this is not for you uh, so obviously it's important to have a look at how long uh, the course runs for before you get your um, end qualification number two is placement options so the course that you're selecting does it come with a placement which um, entitles you to industrial experience or work experience um, obviously in the long run that could be seen as a more desirable thing to have upon your um, application for jobs because it separates you from your competition uh, but that's something you'll need to research so you're gonna have to really research in on um, what courses provide you with um, a placement year um, and then obviously you want to check to see if that's abroad or not because that's obviously going to play a massive part in um, the universities you take so yeah number two placement options if that's something you're looking for number three is possible progression opportunities uh, so obviously when you finish um, a university course um sometimes there's uh, offers to extend your knowledge and top up your knowledge on what you call a postgraduate course so not all universities will offer a course at a degree level and a postgraduate course or a master's course so it's, it's um down to you and shortlisting to look into the universities and the courses you're selecting and whether there's an opportunity for you to do a postgraduate course after your three or four year course or a master's after again this is something that makes you more your your knowledge more extensive therefore could give you um more desirability when it comes to applying for jobs also may entitle you to a larger pay salary uh, when applying for jobs with the, with the extensive knowledge uh, bearing in mind they usually um, are one year courses um, but you can obviously do it across two years part time if you need to so possible progression um, opportunities for number three number four is location um, i can't explain um, and i can't emphasize enough that um, selecting your university um uh is obviously really 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 important to look at the location not just the location of your university but the location of the campus um the public transport around there um the time it takes to travel from distance a to b if you're fortunate enough to be commuting via car um how far how many miles it is don't just look at the distance look at the traffic a lot of students have excuse me committed to hertfordshire um, sorry, applied to Hertfordshire, selected it, and after a year realised they didn't take into account how long it takes to drive via traffic. So location is important. Amongst that, you want to look at what's, if you are living out, you want to look at what's available in terms of supermarkets and how accessible they are. Um, again, underground tra uh, trains, how long it takes on that line, including any changes. Overground trains, how frequently the trains come. All of these things are obviously uh, uh, significant around location. So do research into location. Um, you don't want to commit to something and then realise after a while that the, the pressure from university um, past the travelling is what is um, really um, enabling you not to, to perform at your highest. So travel is important. Um, next I have here um, 
whether or, you, whether or not you're required to live abroad. So there are options with certain courses to travel abroad. Um, I think they're, they're, they're called Erasmus um, Exchange. Uh, that's obviously you exchanging with a student from abroad. So for example, I had a friend who did a year in Indonesia, uh, in a university in Indonesia, and a student from Indonesia came down and studied at King's. And a student from Indonesia came down and studied at King's. So they did a swap for a year. Um, that was compulsory for her. However, um, not all university courses obviously um, entitle you to have a um, international um, one year placement or exchange. So make sure you have a look at what um, you're required to do. Some require you to do to a placement, some require, to, require you to go for an international placement abroad, some require you to have work experience. It's very, very important you obviously read um, and um, have a look at what you're required uh, your university requires you to do throughout the course. Lastly, and I've amalgamated these into one, you have costing. So you have your tuition fee costing, which is essentially how much it costs to um, study what you want to study. Typically, I think it's around £9,000 a year. So you can say, uh, you know, times up by how many years, that's your tuition fee and how much you need to borrow. Then you have your accommodation fee. So if you are living out, how much does it cost per a quarter um, or per week um, if a shared accommodation is that cheaper if you're staying in university halls is that cheaper if you're in a flat with two people is that cheaper all these things obviously vary around your preferences to um, sharing accommodation and bathrooms or whatnot uh, but you do want to take into account how much that costs and whether um, you know you want to front that uh, uh, yourself up front or whether you want to front certain amount of of that finance up front and borrow the rest obviously all, all this is going to take into account of where you select to study what you're selecting to study and um, you, you know we can provide you with a lot more information with student loans and that after it is worth going on to www.studentfinance.co.uk to, to read into it but i know that in terms of paying it off if you are looking to borrow money um, that the student loans that you borrow uh, will, only once you are under employment and you're owning above a certain amount will the loan start coming out of your monthly pay packet uh, and it's uh, subject to how much you earn and then a certain percentage is taken out um, but yeah, please take into account tuition fees and accommodation costs because that is obviously going to play a huge part um, in where you study. Um, and it goes without saying that um, all university students have to budget. It is what um, we um, advise and that um, will you know endeavor you to to do to be uh, to do well some of you will have part-time jobs so obviously take into account you may be earning alongside but you don't want to overwhelm yourself with that while studying so just a quick summary you've got when shortlisting and selecting universities you want to look at the duration of the course how long it runs for placement options if they're available possible progression opportunities for postgraduate or master's uh, courses after the location of your university your house traveling uh, shopping malls, uh, supermarkets, all of that. Um, if you're required to live abroad or required to do a placement. And then lastly, costing, so tuition fee and accommodation costings. Um, I hope you found this university use, uh, university, I hope you found this little podcast useful. Hopefully it's just going to help you to be a bit more diligent when selecting universities. It is a huge step. You've been in education since like three, four till like 17, 18. So now you're going to have full independence to study what you wish to. Um, so look, any questions, there will be a live seminar that we'll be doing soon, but please feel free to email us as always. Um, and yeah, listen, look guys, stay well. And um, obviously look, guys, about saying I miss you and I can't wait to see you guys all soon. Uh, but for now, keep cracking on with everything that's important uh, because we will all be fine. All right, mate, take care. Cheers.